Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you um, how to do a recruitment process funnel chart. Um, so this is something that we can use for a recruitment process, uh, which is common in HR, but it can also be used for like sales funnel charts. So the example that I'm giving today is quite uh, HR specific. Um, for example, let's say for this job that we're trying to hire, um, this is basically the process of how we recruit a person. So we receive the resume and let's say we receive 923 copies of them um, and then we qualify them because some of them might not have the required qualifications. So let's say we qualify about 400 and then we send them online test and then they kind of do the test and then we filter a few and then we do the initial phone screening of let's say a hundred ish people and then we do a panel interview and then we might do a personal interview with a manager and then a personal interview with a director and within each steps you will see more and more people are filtered out and then eventually we offer uh, we extend the offer to let's say eight people um, and then out of those eight people eventually there are five that's accepted so this formula chart basically show, shows you that uh, from a hundred percent within each of the steps how many uh, what percentage of people are filtered out and at the end of the process only one percent of them gets selected so this is a very strong uh, strong um, visually convincing chart and I'm gonna show you how to do that so um, this is basically the um, the data that we start with so we have the process and as you see I actually listed it out by uh, time so basically this is step one to three four until the end and then this is a head count that we have so now uh, to create the funnel chart basically the first step that act we actually need to do is to uh, reverse the order because um, if we just do the chart like this so let me show you uh, we're gonna use the this 2d bar chart if we um revise the chart like this eventually like the one with largest head count is going to be on the bottom which is fine uh, if that's what you want so it's going to be a pyramid chart instead of a funnel chart so do you, if you still want a funnel chart with the largest head count on the top then you have to reverse the order and then to do that okay let me just delete this and then to do that you select your data set go to sort custom sort go to your hack count and make sure you order large to small um oh actually small to large sorry so small to large um yeah and then here we go so this way um when we do the 2d uh, stacked bar chart this is how it's gonna look like so this is what we are gonna work on so just leave it here for a sec uh, the next one thing I need to do is to create a helper column so in order to create this we actually need to uh, f um, design our chart a little bit so for example look at our numbers so uh, the largest that we have is close to a thousand so actually when we have the funder chart uh, we want the hack count to be a thousand the total hack count to be thousand and everyone is kind of centered at 500 so let's say um, a thousand is eventually where we want so what you do is that you anchor where you want um, the access to be and then you input the formula like this so it's 1000 minus whatever hat count you have close bracket um, and then divide it by two so i'll show you what it, what it does in a sec so now you have this helper column here and then go back to your chart select the area and then right click and select data in here you will have um, this part and then you go add uh, serial name can be helper column and then serial value can be basically the helper column and then okay and then here you go um, okay so this is basically where your chart is going to be so it's looking a bit funky now but then don't worry so the next step you do is again select your area go back to select data 
and then you see um, you have the headcount column first and the helper column down. Go up to this move up and then change their order. So now you see um, when you close it, like this is the funnel that we kind of want, right? So now um, let's go back um, to this chart and format it a little bit. So now we know that we actually want it to be a thousand. We want the whole access to be a thousand, uh, but then Excel's automatically changing into to 1200. So let's click on the access and then change the max back to a thousand. So now it's a real funnel that's as magic uh, and then what you want to might want to do is adjust the um, width for your bar so to do that actually you select your bars um, and then for the gap width you go to like maybe the max I w that's my preferred format you don't have to stick to it so what I would do is that I select the gap width to be max um, and then I go back to the border of my series. I select it, go back to border, and then select solid line to be white. So then, uh, oh, actually I want it to be white. So then um, it kind of have a nice uh, border in between and it's not looking like so stacked. And then let's close it. And then now you kind of already have the funnel chart. And then the next step you do is to select this helper column. It's now automatically in orange. We don't want it, so just fill it as white. Um, but you know what? We actually still have this uh, grid line there, and we don't want to show that. So what you do is to you select the grid line when it's like this, and then you just go delete. And here, here we go. So you have this nice fun funnel chart. Um, here um, but when you go back to what I have here you know what like I'm actually showing the hack count in my um, X axis and I'm showing the selection ratio in my final chart so how do I want do that if that's what I want to do okay so I will show you that so first let's work on the access legend um, so to do that basically you, you need to um, create a new um, column, name it whatever, and then it's basically equal to uh, first the process name, uh, and then you want to have a bracket. Oh, actually, you, you might, yeah, I think you need a space, and then the bracket, close it, and then the hack count, and then you close the bracket. So, like that. Let's see. Yeah, okay, cool. So that's how we want to show our access and then now let's select our access go to select data so um, you see it's actually right now it's uh, access no that's probably not where I want it to be so this is my access name um, but what I actually want to do is uh, the hat count. So you see the hat count, um, it's showing the horizontal as um, the original access label. And then go to select hat count, select add it. And then it's going to show this area, but this is not what we want. So we delete it and then we select the new access that label that we want and then go OK. And then you have all the hat count in your label now. So that's cool. Uh, and then we are just missing the selection ratio. So let's um, add the selection ratio into our labels. So let's say we create a new um, column called selection ratio. And then for my select ratio, I basically define it as whatever hack count that's left in that process divided by the original um, resume received so I make an absolute uh, reference to it so that I can drag down my formula so now after I drag it down the last one is always a hundred and then the um, the final offer accepted is a one percent okay so that is what we want to show in the middle so now let's um, select our bars um, and then go to add data label add data label and then, so you see now it's actually automatically adding our hack count, which we don't want. So we select the hack count and then we go format data label 
and then you can tell now it's selected, but it's showing a label option. So label contains value, and we don't want this, so we unclick it, and then, uh, well, actually, you know what? Uh, I might have missed it. So that, but that's okay. Let's redo it. Let's add data label, and then select it, uh, and then go to label options. And then now what you do is actually let's don't unselect it. Let's first select value from cell. When you select that, it's going to pop up something, a pop up window, select data label range. And then we want to select the selection ratio here. So just do that. And then you can see your selection ratio is here, but it also has a value which we have already included in our uh, label for the access. So now let's unselect the value. And then here you go, you have the selection ratio. And then now you just do some formatting uh, to make it stand out. And then you have this beautiful funnel chart available for you. Okay, cool. So that is everything I want to share with you today. I hope that you find it helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.